everyone, it's Linda with StampWithLindaWalsh.com. Um, I just wanted to show you this really cute, not cute, but really functional idea. It is cute too, though. The uh, Kimberly Barber came up with a bunch of these, and then I got some off of the Stampin' Connection too for our um, for our downline community. These are so darn nice. I am in love right at the moment. Um, she came up with these. She said that she didn't want you to sell them, so give them to your customers. She said you're perfectly free to do that. I'm going to have on my um, on my site the downloads for all of these. And then not only that, then she also, or someone else came up with, I don't know, the Brights markers, Regals. Not only that, then we have also the jewels and the rhinestones. Um, who's Yep, this is by Kimberly also. I guess I downloaded all hers. There are more. These are the ones that I used. But I'll have them all on my site. So I just thought these are really cool. Let me show you how I did these. Um, there's also a download for your in colors, which do not have colors already printed. But they have a circle. So what I'm going to do is the retired on, uh, in colors. As long as I still have the ink pads for them. Um, why not keep them? So I'll just cut out a circle of paper and place whatever colors I have left. This is the in colors. I don't even have the new ones yet. I forgot to buy them. So I gotta put those on my list. So that's for this month, this, this month, this year. Here's our regals. You can fit all your, your all ten of them in there. Um, so as far as the, the, um, the framelits. I still did some of the demonstrators were putting the magnets right on here. I did it on a piece I had this stored a different way and plus I'm not sure you know I change my storage a lot only because as my space grows or as I get rid of um, things that I'm not using um, I might be able to reuse this for another project which I know I will. So I just kept them on here and I did my magnets so they don't come off um, it's up to you, however you want. Put it right on. The template that's on there also travels most of the way here. Um, so it's up to you. I cut mine just in case I wanted to see what was in here too. If you notice, like, where's my... Um, so if I wanted to turn these, I could basically just see in the back what was there. This is holding right now. Look at how many this is holding. I have two full packs of the rhinestones, one leftover one. I'm sure if you take out the cardboard, you would fit more. I have a full pack of the um, jewel, the pearls and then a half a pack. And I can fit still more in there. So this is actually going to hold us quite a bit. But there you go. You have the large and the, the rhinestones. So I thought that was very, very helpful. Let me show you another one just to... Oh, this is for your embossing folders. I don't know if you noticed, but... I still keep mine in the package. I have all five of them here, so they all fit in nicely. Just because I didn't want to have them all flinging around the case. Um, that's your preference, but I thought that was cool. I need to have something for all my embossing folders. I hope Stampin' Up! comes out with something like that. Um, and then this one is going to hold all five. I don't have five yet. I only have the two. So there you go. There's that. But this is so, so helpful. I really thank Barbara for doing this. I mean, Kimberly. That's her last name, Barbara. Um, thank you, Kimberly, for doing this. And like I said, please, she said, do not charge for these. And I hope if you're a demonstrator that you don't charge our customers either. So thank you for joining me. And it's a great tool, um, you know, storage technique. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye-bye.